Today, I'm gonna to take a crack at the Avenues Online Save the World Challenge. I'll tell you more about them later, but they're a really cool school that has an interesting application project where you have to save the world. One of their challenges is based on climate change and turning back the clock on global warming. So my idea for this is what if we could turn trash into fuel? Instead of having to store huge amounts of trash everywhere, what if we actually use the energy stored in the trash? Well, one way is to burn it, but the problem is it's really hard to run an engine off of solid fuels like this. In modern vehicles, we need liquid fuel. So how can we turn any trash into liquid fuel? Well, we can actually do it through something called syngas fermentation. First, what you need to do is break down the trash into a gas. So you can partially burn it through something called gasification. Let me show you an easy way to gasify something. You can see I have some tissue paper here. So I'm gonna put it in my vacuum chamber with a low amount of oxygen so it doesn't just burn and turn into CO2 and water like it normally would. I just drew some black on it so it can absorb the laser light a little bit better. If I stick this paper in a vacuum chamber, there's very little oxygen, so it can't turn into CO2 and water like it normally would when you burn it in air. But if I heat it without a lot of oxygen around it, it'll break down into water, CO2, CO, and H2, and some other side products as well. So it's not burning, it's just breaking these long carbon chains into smaller pieces. So you can see that we've removed material from the paper here, but where did it go? Since we were in a minimal oxygen environment, it actually turned into mostly hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and CO2, and a little bit of water as well, and other side products. So in gasification, the goal is to break down solids into gases that still have some usable energy. But then once you have these gases, you still need to turn them into liquid fuel, which is the goal from the start. Now here's where it gets interesting. There's a certain bacteria called Clostridium lungdali. One scientist found that deep down in mud and waste matter from animals where there was no oxygen, they produced acetate and ethanol. And what's nice about ethanol is ethanol can burn. These bacteria can actually eat hydrogen and carbon monoxide and convert CO2 into ethanol and butanol. During my research as a PhD student, I grew these bacteria and fed them syngas while they turned it into ethanol and butanol. And one of the hardest parts about this process is that the bacteria live in liquid and you're feeding them gases. So you have to continually make sure that they have enough dissolved gases in the liquid. So if you were to use this on a large scale, this is what your process would look like. You set up your plant next to a trash dump, and then you send the trash to be gasified and then pump that gas into the fermentation tanks that convert it into the liquid fuel. This fuel is then separated and ready for use by itself or as an additive to gasoline. This method in and of itself alone won't do much to stop climate change, but a lot of small changes like this together can. That's why I want to tell you about the sponsor for this video, Avenues Online, and their Save the World Challenge. Avenues Online is an accredited tier one private school designed for students from toddler through 12th grade who want to pursue a world-class education freed from the constraints of a physical school. Avenues Online allows you to study with students living in six continents and more than 20 countries. They offer flexible schedules and personalized calendars to allow students to pursue other activities as well. Education happens at Avenues Online through project-based learning. Avenues Online's learning platform was designed by its very own R&D team. They embrace science and technology in a big way. Avenues Online even made a study bot to help students with all their work. It's really cool. Let's ask it some questions. Hey Savvy, what's the craziest way to break down trash into gas? And look at that, Savvy tells me breaking down trash into gas is actually a process known as gasification. And then it even tells me about plasma gasification, pretty cool. The Save the World Challenge is part of the application process at Avenues Online. The students take the challenge as part of the application process because it mimics how Avenues Online works. So you can learn more about the Save the World Challenge and see if you can come up with a novel idea. To learn more, go to avenues.org slash the Action Lab. And thanks again for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.